Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out what I believe is new, but if it's not, it's new to me. This is from Neutrogena. It is, it's a serum foundation, which I normally don't like because my skin is very sensitive to serums. But yes, it's a sensitive, but it's for sensitive skin. So we're all gonna, we're got our fingers crossed. It's a sensitive skin serum foundation, healthy skin. Pro vitamin B5 helps maintain skin's moisture barrier for healthy looking skin. So that's what it is. It's Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation. That's a lot, huh? Anyway. I got the color light medium and hopefully it looks pretty good. It looks a little dark in the bottle, but I'm thinking it'll be light because it's um, like a skin like one. So it should thin out pretty good. Anyways, we have this to test out and then I got this at the grocery store. No, at the drugstore. Also, I thought we would try it. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? And I got it in clear. So we're gonna use our Wet n Wild um, brow powder. And then we're gonna use this to set them in place. All five of them. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I am going to just start with my regular, take these off, my um, Tarte Base Tape. because I don't think we're ready to start doing um, the TikTok method again yet, although I'm ready to, but I think it's still a little too cold. Although my skin doesn't really seem that dry. So we might be getting really close to being able to do that again, because I really liked it. But when my skin got dry, it seemed like it was making everything look cakey. So we had to stop. So base tape. Now we're gonna go in with this, our Neutrogena. And I was gonna take you guys along um, to Costco with me, with me. Remember, I was getting hearing aids. I got them. I have them on right now. Can you see them? I don't think so. They're awesome so far. I mean, they have goods and bads. I probably should just shake this up. The good thing is I can hear, which that's amazing. The bad thing is I can hear too much. My husband, who sits across the room from me, I know you guys have seen my living room, and he sits across the room, and it sounds like he's yelling at me, and his um, iPad, when it plays YouTube videos, it is so loud. Now I know how annoying I was to them when I couldn't hear. Anyways, I'm trying to get him to use his headphones. But I'm also trying to, I've turned it down because it has a control on my phone where I can turn it down. And I've turned it down two notches. And he told me that I might have to, he being the guy at Costco, the audiologist guy. Um, I'm just gonna put this on my hand. Well, maybe I'll just put it right on my face. I don't think I got a full dropper full there. Why is it not getting in there? There, that was a good one. I think I need a little more over here. All over here. Back to the hearing aid guy. He told me that it would take, oh, that I could turn him down. You know, he hooked it up to my phone for me, showed me how to use it and said that I might need to turn it down in these first few weeks. And so at first I didn't, I just suffered through with my husband yelling at me all the time. And I couldn't get him to stop yelling at me though. So I had to turn it down and it's much better now that I turned it down, but I still hear too much of the little things, you know, like the dogs, fingernails on the floor and the wind blowing. It's like the voices in the TV and stuff 
aren't too loud, but those things are. And I know it's supposed to help weed those out. What do you guys think of this? It's very shiny. It doesn't seem to have much coverage, does it? Seems like it's just shining up. So it's a serum. I don't know if it's a foundation, though. But maybe when we powder it, it will cover. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I'm actually pretty sure that I don't like it because it's giving me zero coverage. And if I've got to use a powder for coverage, why would I use this? I don't even like serums. So we're going to go on anyways. Maybe it wears really good. I am just getting to be a real airhead these days. All right, so we're using our Pat McGrath. Yeah, I really hope the powder helps. Because I feel like I, it looks like I just put some oil on my face at this point. I really want to kind of do a bold look today. We haven't done a super glam one in a long time. We've gotten real natural. And I like real natural. But today, we're going to... Oh, I forgot to do that one too. Today we're going to jazz it up a bit. Do a nice smoky eye. Oh, back to, I told you I was getting to be an airhead, Costco. So do you think that you can see them? You can't see them at all. These are the signature um, Kirkland, which is the Costco brand, Kirkland Signature 10. And they are $13.99. That's how much it costs for these. And you get, if you're a member, which you have to be a member, um, you get the test for free. And they have a lot of other ones that you can buy, but they're more expensive. And this one is like the same, same maker and everything as one of the super expensive ones, but, Kirk, but Costco bought it from them or something like that. So, they can sell it for whatever they want, and that's what they're selling it for. And, and, the what I really liked about this one was, well, besides the fact that it just fit all my needs, because it's Bluetooth, <coughs> it, um, when I play music or a book, you know, audio book, or even you, when I'm looking at, um, Instagram or or YouTube videos, I can play them through my hearing aids so that nobody else can hear them, just like I'm wearing headphones. So that is super awesome. And I can, what else? I can turn it up and down. I can play my music through it. I can answer my phone through it. If the phone rings, I just double tap my ear and I can talk because there's you know, obviously there's speakers on it. That's how it can hear everything. It's just a really good, and it has a six month trial, money back guarantee. So it's like, it's the best, it's, it's definitely the best um, package, I think. Unless you just want to pay six, seven thousand dollars for them, then you can. They have those too. So what do you think now, now that I put powder all over it? I haven't spread it out yet, but. <sighs> now it's not too bad, huh? It's not so shiny, but it still doesn't have any coverage. So I can tell you, I am not gonna like it. 
but it's not sinking into lines yet. All right, so that's our foundation and our concealer and our primer and powder. So now we are going to, we're gonna be using our Bobbi Brown. I have ordered for our next week because I ordered it during the 21 days of whatever, Ulta. Um, I ordered that Lorac contour palette. So we're gonna be trying that out. So I wanna use this one to today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on these shiny cheeks. Yep, I don't like it. Not this. Well, I don't like this because there's nothing underneath it and it's, I don't know, it's just not the same color as it normally is to me. Doesn't it seem like very rosy? Not gonna need any blush, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in here for a transition color. This is the same Bobbi Brown bronzer I'm using for this. I am gonna use an eyeshadow too though, because like I said, we're gonna go glam. Now we are going to go in to, I am going to use a little bit of blush. Maybe it just looks so, that color, because of this shirt. Maybe it's just making it look shiny, orange. So we're going to go with this, because this is supposed to be plummy. This is Dallas from Benefit. And now, for our highlight, we're going to use our dandelion. Because it's so incredibly beautiful. My absolute favorite highlight. I'm sure you guys already know that. But, maybe there's somebody new who doesn't know that. All right, that's that. Let's go ahead and blend that out a little bit. And make it all run together. All right, so now I am going to use Natasha Denona, right? We'll just grab this glam palette. I'm sure it's got a nice brown in here for me. And I'm gonna go into this one right here. And it says outer eyelid, which is what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna put it in my outer eyelid and in my crease. Because we are going extreme today. And I'm just going to pack it on this outer corner and then pull it into my crease. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend these edges a little bit. Oof. And then, oh, got something up my nose. I am going to grab my 
cookie highlight and put a little on my finger and put that on the inner two-thirds of my lid. This is also from Benefit. And this is like my second favorite highlight. It used to be my favorite until I discovered the dandelion. Dandelion is more of an everyday favorite. This is more of a glammy one. And that is what we have there. So now we've got all those going on. Oh, I was going to add a little bit up here. Let's go in with liner now. I am going to use my tattoo liner from Maybelline so that I can do a nice smoky eye. So now we're just going to line this and then I'm going to smudge it and I want a nice bold line and we're just going to go back and forth and push it down into the lash line and also smudge it up a bit because we want this to be a super dynamic eye super smoky dynamic eye But you gotta be kinda quick. Cause once it sets, it sets. That's why I always do one at a time. Now I'm gonna go back in and put just a tiny bit under. Always put your lid back on too, or it'll dry out. All right, now we're gonna finish up these eyes with some legendary lash from Charlotte Tilbury. Just because I got stuff all over them. These are Ardell Naked Lashes. So I don't have to use too much to get them black again. I should eyebrow stuff. So I'm going to use my elf brush. And I'm going to brush them up a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my elf powder. Or, this is not elf, this is wet and wild. Wet and wild powder. Yes, I still have this. I ordered in my, with my um, 21 Days of Beauty, I ordered this little elf kit. I'm just, wet and wild kit. But I haven't got it yet. So we're still scraping the bottom here. I think that's good enough. So I'll go one more time like this just to see what we can do. And then we're going to use this, get any fallout off. And then we're going to use our tattoo stuff. And in this, it has a waxy thing at this end, and then this little triangle brush. Can you see it? That is what the brush looks like. So you're just supposed to put the wax on like this and then use this little triangle brush to put them in place. 
just like that and I don't want to get too much of the wax to make it take off my color this came in colors too I think We shall see if it works, if it stays. But so far, so good. All right, what do you think so far? Pretty glam, huh? What kind of lips do we want? I don't think we want something super bright because this orange is going to clash. Let's see if this is... I think we're. that's our ticket. What do you think? Do you love it? This is our look of the day. It's pretty bold. We haven't done this in a while. I like it though. I missed it. I'm gonna have to redo my lashes now though because I put mascara all over them. But that's okay. I'm good with it. So, I do not like the foundation. I like the um, this stuff so far. I'm sure I need to let it sit before I start messing with it, but it looks good and it feels good. It doesn't feel stiff and it doesn't. What I hate about gels is they tend to flake on me anyways whenever I put any of them. In fact, I ordered the new the Benefit one because it was on the half price thing and I thought I haven't tried that one let's try that one so I ordered it but I don't know I'm liking this waxy guy anyways we're giving a thumbs down to this if you want moisture and no coverage and I'm not sure what the serum you know it basically says it's hydrating um, and it's for sensitive skin but I don't see any color I mean, I saw it when I put it on there, but when I spread it out, it was gone. And I wouldn't build a serum, personally, because my skin is too sensitive as it is. So, I'm giving this one a thumbs down, which is, you know, it is what it is. But lately, it seems like they've all been good. So, this one gets a thumbs down, and this one gets a thumbs up. If it changes, I will put it in the information box. But it looks good right now. So I think we're good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I can't remember if I finished the story on the hearing aids, but I like them. They're great. I like them. They're great. So far, so good. Um, I have had issues with my sinuses big time, but that's because I shaved my big cat. I think it's because I shaved my big cat. I did shave my big cat. Whether or not that's why my sinuses are off the charts, but they have been off the charts for about at least four days. So I'm hoping that it's because of the cat and not because of the hearing aids. I mean, I don't know how hearing aids could make you have sinuses, but, you know, hopefully not. Anyways, I also got new glasses, but they are going to mail them to me because our Costco is like an hour and a half away. So I didn't want to have to go back in two weeks and pick them up. So they're going to mail those to me. So I shouldn't get those like next week or so. And I actually, they're just going to be in my same frames the ones that I had those Versace the black frames I already had Versace flames frames flames and you can't get those frames anymore because they're like five years old and I don't think they sell retro um, designer I don't know but anyways I thought 
there's nothing wrong with these and I like them so we will just get them so I just got new lenses put in them so hopefully now I'll be able to see and hear and um, it was really reasonable too whether or not how good they are we'll find out but it was 99 or no it was $79 for the eye exam and then I paid 167 for my lenses to be put in my frames so I don't know how much that would have been if I bought I guess it would have been whatever the price of the frames I picked out were so anyways and I got anti-reflection I didn't get blue whatever blocker I didn't want that in my glasses and what else scratch resistant I got that too so anyways I'll be able to show you those in a week or so probably not next week because it's like that's exactly two weeks and then they had to mail them so it's probably gonna be the next week before you can see my glasses but you've seen them before so it's no big deal anyways so far so good with the hearing aids I think they're a reasonable price and I love the package deal that you get with this one so I'll let you know if anything changes um, so that's it see you next time Mwah.